Hey, hey, let's do a little math here. Uh, periodic functions, applications problems. Um, we're going to make some assumptions as we read this. The outside temperature over day can be modeled as a sine function. So we know that's going to be y equals a sine b theta minus h plus k. Suppose you know the temperature is 50 degrees at midnight and the high and low temperature during the day are 57 and 43. Assume T is the number of hours since midnight. Okay, so instead of a theta here, we're going to have T. And write an equation for the temperature, D. Okay, so there's the temperature. So we need to figure out what are the A, B, H, and K values. Okay, well here's some things we know. We know that um, the, the temperature at midnight is 50 degrees, and we're supposed to do number of hours since midnight. So if we were going to do a timeline here, and um, I'm just going to draw down the center here. This is the T, the hours after midnight, and this is the temperature. And so we know that uh, 50 degrees at midnight. So this would be um, 12 midnight, and the temperature would be 50 degrees. So let's just go something like uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so there's 50. Okay, and there's a high and a low temperature during the day are 57 and 43. So let's see, what do we do? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you know what? This is not going to be to scale. I'm just going to say that's 43, which is the min. And then the max is 57. So we'll just say the max is right there. And what I notice is we're up seven and down seven, so that is the middle right there. Okay, I'm gonna just put a dash line there, and then I'm gonna put a dash line there and up there. Okay, so that's our mid, our max, and our min. Now, let's see, we're doing this by day, so um, let's just do something like this, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that'll be 12 noon, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that'll be 12 midnight again. All right, so... Um, we're going to have to make some, some assumptions here that if it's at 50 at midnight, then it's going to be 50 at midnight again. And if this is going to be a sign, then it's going to get hotter in the, um, actually, what does it say? High and low temperature. 57 in the afternoon. Okay, so the high of 57, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we're going to say is right there in the afternoon and 43 degrees in the morning. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to assume with a symmetry and that information about the low temperature and the high temperature in the morning and the afternoon that the sine curve looks like that. Okay, so now let's see. The amplitude is the distance between the middle and the max or the middle and the min, and that's seven. Now, we know that the period equals, let's do this in degrees, 360 degrees over the B value. Now, 
the assumption that we made is that if it's 50 at midnight, it'll be 50 at midnight again. And so that's the period from midnight to midnight, which is 24 hours. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply and solve. And I'm just going to um, take some shortcuts, but you can do the workout if you want. It'll end up 360 divided by 24. And it comes out 15. So that's our B value. Um, let's do the K value because that's easy. That's the vertical shift. Well, from zero, that's going to be up 50. So from zero to the middle is 50. So now we got to figure out the H value. And the start of the sign is always in the middle going up. And so that's that spot, middle going up. And that's 12 hours. So the H is 12. So our temperature equation is going to be this. D equals 7 sine 15 T minus H plus K. So that should work. So now let's do the following. Let's um, go to our calculator and Y equals, let's put this equation in 7 sine 15 T minus 12 plus 50. Now let's go to the window and let's do something like, let's do zero to 24 hours. And then we'll go in, um, how about six hour increments? Now yeah, we can go in one hour increments. And then let's go from zero up to 60 and we'll go by tens. All right, let's see if we get a graph that looks like that. Now that, that looks like what we're getting on screen. Now I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna put the min in there and I'm gonna put the max in there. And I'm gonna graph it again. And yeah, there it is. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the middle in there, which is 50. And that looks pretty good. So I think we have the right equation it describes. Now, determine the te temperature at 1 p.m. Well, 1 p.m. is how many hours after midnight? 12 midnight, 12 noon, 1 p.m. would be right there, which would be 12, 13 hours. So we would want to substitute 13 in for T. So we can do that and multiply it out or we could do this. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go back in here and clear these things out. And then I'm gonna use the trace function and I'm gonna put 13 in and we get a temperature of about 51.8 degrees. Now this one says, at what times does the temperature reach 44.5? So in this case, we're putting 44.5 in here and solving for T. And the easy way to do that is to go to Y equals and put 44.5. And you can see there are two times a day where they intersect and that's when it's 45. So you can go second calculate intersect first curve second curve and and guess at that point and it's eight hours eight and a half hours after midnight so that would be that point about 8:30 a.m. and then we can do the same thing calculate intersect first curve second curve and we can guess this other intersection and it comes about 3.45 or about 3.5. So this one is gonna be around 3.30 a.m. All right, that's how we do that problem.